Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Another card wall video showing some of the cards that I have. I just gotten a, a submission back from BGS. All the cards are in BGS. I've got custom uh, holders on my wall. I'll explain that at some point, but I've taken them out of the holders and just passed them through one at a time so you can see the actual card. Reggie, not a hard card to get, but hard to get in really good condition. It's typically off-centered. I have met Reggie and he completely lived up to his big personality. He's a power hitter and he's, and he's a very smart guy. That was very interesting. Next is Travis Jackson, Stonewall Jackson, which I think is not really what they called him that much, but I love the Diamond Stars design. Uh, the problem with Diamond Stars is there, it, it doesn't have the star power in the set, but the design is, is first rate, ahead of its time for 1933, 34, 35, 36. The set was issued over a period of years. So Travis is probably not gonna make the grade. He's a marginal Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm sure a great guy, but I've only got room for so many and I'm doing all the sports. So Travis, uh, not gonna probably make it eventually. These are the sponsors. Thanks again. You already probably do patronize a bunch of them. If you buy cards, you're probably doing that and the auctions and the stores and all that. Spook Jacobs, this is my actual first card I ever got from the 1956 Top Second Series when my dad pulled over on the side of the road, pulled out a penny, and I got a penny pack of 56 Tops. And it had to be probably, maybe school was just barely out, but it was a little family excursion, a uh, little field trip we did. And, and this is my first card. It's a three when, when it goes in your back pocket and, and uh, other places when little kids don't know what they're doing. Yarmer Yager, he probably will hang in there. This is a, a die cut card produced 100, but not serial numbered of the fractal matrix. It's, it's hard to get high grades when you're doing these die cut kinds of designs. And so I think this was put away immediately, but still 9.5. Well, what comes after Yager is James, LeBron James. I guess I could have skipped over Edgerin James. Maybe maybe Edgerin, somebody wants him, but, but LeBron is the most famous James. Brady James, but LeBron James is the James. I'm not leaving room for Bronny. I've already editorialized that I don't think Bronny is going to be an all-star. Uh, I think he may make the NBA, but I don't see him being an all-star right now. Actually, for Le LeBron, I've got three different choices, and they're well, 8.5, and the other was a 9, and then this is a 9.5. Basically, they all at one time were about the same price. So what happens is that you think, which one do I want? I think if you go chasing one in particular, if you think, I want a LeBron rookie, if they're all the same choice, then you pick the, your favorite brand or the favorite design. Here's Anton Jameson. I enjoyed watching him play. He made the most of, he didn't have a great classic jump shot. Autographics, I wanted to get some representation for that because I think that was a, a skybox innovation. But Anton, the player, was originally linked with Vince Carter but uh, Vince had the flash and, and more hobby love. Jackson Jeffcoat, probably just here until he or his dad comes over. A local guy, went to high school here. This is a CFL card, which further means that he didn't stick with the NFL. Uh, they go to the NFL to the CFL and anymore, they don't usually come back. But if he does, that'd be great. And uh, Justin Jefferson, a legit great receiver. I wish the Cowboys had him. This I got out of my own personal break. I do think I've got something a little bit better coming that's still pending at, at BGS to get back. And if I do, I'll swap it out. But I, if he stays healthy, he can have a very long, a fruitful career and be one of the greats. Jim Jeffries, got a couple of them here. One is this uncatalogued card, which is tricky. Always at the Nationals, if I saw something was uncatalogued, I'd pick up a card. Not necessarily of, of a particular player, but Jim Jeffries is a known boxer. I think a lot of the early boxers ought to have more respect. They're very tough to find in better shape. Even though it's uncatalogued, I'm not sure people care that much about that. The other one is uh, the, a caramel card. Uh, same deal. Just any of these boxer cards are tough from more than 100 years ago. And next we got Fergie Jenkins. It's autographed. Um, this is acknowledging that he did play for the Rangers. He was a great athlete. I met him. He was very dependable, but it's not a high value card. And as I evolve my wall toward more superstars and less local, I think Fergie's going to be on the out, even though he's a great pitcher and great athlete. And then Jennings, 
the T205s, which is the gold border. They've been tracking with T206s. T205s are, are more beautiful and more difficult to find. So they ought to be even more. This is a three. You can see there's a, a little chip at the top, a little, tiny bit of corner wear, but this is a great card. I am not apologizing for it at all. So I may keep it on the wall just because I think T205s are, the gold borders are just uh, stunning. Thanks, everybody. Be back with another one.